there's a guy in a hot dog outfit who's a zombie who's sneaking up on this guy over here. I like my little stories. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today playing Indoor Lands, where we're going to create an amusement park indoors. The hint was in the title there. We're going to have rides and concessions and things for people to look at, and then they'll hop on a machine and be violently spun around. Hopefully until they throw up, we can only hope for the best there. I've been keeping my eye on Indoor Lands for ages because it's exactly the sort of game that I like. I like building games and I like building theme parks. Love that kind of thing. And I finally just hit up the developer. I'm like, you know what? Here's the deal. Indoor Lands looks like exactly the sort of game I would have on my channel. And they wrote back, like, really, really quickly, I might add, which was pleasantly surprising. And they said, you know what? You're right. Indoor Lands looks like exactly the sort of game you'd have on your channel. Here, go play some Indoor Lands. So thank you very much to the developers for sending along a key. I do very much appreciate it. I've been wanting to feature this on the channel. And this is, at the moment, as you can see, still in early access. But, but, but... This is coming out in its full version on October 14th as I'm recording this. So I've left a link to the Steam page down below. If you want to go down and check it out, maybe throw it on your wish list, you can go ahead and do that there. I have gone through and done the tutorial. Shut up! I really did the tutorial this time. It's blissfully simple. It's open your park. Congratulations, your tutorial is done. Off you go, Sparky, so you know this is going to end well. So we've got a choice between career mode or sandbox. My... My instinct is to go for sandbox because that's that's how I play things. I, I like to just have the freedom to do whatever the heck I want. Although I do like having defined goals and you know what? We're just doing sandbox and let's mess around with some stuff here. I think infinite money, although I love the idea of it, let's not do that. Let's just do a starting sum. We're going to have half a million here. Infinite research. I think not. No, let's let's not do that. Let's actually research things as we research things. Use contracts. You are prompted with different contracts to get further rewards. Oh yeah, that sounds fun. Let's turn that on. Use events. Game generates random events. Oh yeah, let's turn that on as well. Visitors produce dirt. Of course they do. Haul, wear, and tear will definitely do that. Doesn't look like I can adjust visitor difficulty unless I tick one of these off. Let's let's have our people be not so difficult. So after I played the 10 second tutorial, I just kind of messed around with the game for about half an hour or so. So some things I kind of have a vague idea about and other things I totally 100% don't. There's a lot of UI going on here. There's a lot of stuff to figure out in Indoor Lands, but so far so good. I've been able to kind of pile my way through it and make something of it. Park is currently closed, as we can see, and that's exactly the way I'd like it. I'm not really ready for anyone. Now, we don't have everything unlocked, obviously, so concessions, for argument's sake. Popcorn, slushies, and fries. Okay, that's a perfectly balanced meal, but we could get down to burgers and salad and sandwiches and that kind of thing. Let's focus on simple things, like a path. Oh, goodness. I can color everything here. I can totally customize this. I like this. I do. Uh, let's do, well, I like my deep reds here. So let's do the walls in that color. And how about something really unsettling for the floor? How about just that crazy thing here? Now, I think I can just write right over these. Yeah. Although that is costing me money, Dave. That does cost you money. Okay, you should probably think about that. We've only got the half a million, and now you've got less than half a million, don't you, Dave? Now, that's just an empty hall. What else could I be doing in here? They got all, oh, wow, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, um, well, we're going wasteland, right? This looks kind of wastelandy. What happens if I do this? Oh, it's more of like a, a living room setting. Oh, huh, how, how far can I zoom in on that? Yeah, it's almost like a living room, almost a museum thing. You go by this big table, and there's a bunch of stuff on it. Okay, I don't hate that. I might get rid of it, though. I didn't do that properly. How about we did that? There we go. Wow, that was a lot of money I just spent. Nope, I've decided I don't like that. We're getting rid of that. Get rid of that. Make that go away. Oh, I got a little bit of money back. That's good. I appreciate that. All right, we've got a corridor. We've got a hallway people to walk through. Let's do something, oh, I don't know, vaguely theme park centered and go for a ride. Wow, big ride. Big, big ride. Okay, I see the doors. I see the doors there. So you can get in. And that's about it. You can go in and out from there. So I'm going to pop that guy down right there. We're going to come back to you in a second, but I need to do 
my pathways over here so people actually have a way to get in and out. I think that's fair. So you're going to come in to Indoor Lands, to Dave's amazing theme park here. You're going to go in, you're going to go to your ride, and then you're going to get out. And that's all you can do right now. Oh, P.S. We don't actually have a ride yet. We're going to come to that in a sec. But now we need to do important things like, you know, give them somewhere to spend their money. Back to popcorn, slushies, and fries, or we could do some stores. Right now we've got pins and balloons. That's cool. And what have we got down in entertainment halls? A horse carousel. Show me that. Okay, so it's like a little kitty carousel kind of thing. They can go in and, and do their thing there. And then show me the, uh, the utilities. Toilets, very, very sensible. Small cleaning, research, and repair. Should probably get research going sooner rather than later, right? That seems like a valuable thing to do because otherwise I'm not getting anything new. How big is my map? It's not super big. Can I go, go away for right now? Can I go into these other areas eventually? Is that a thing I can do? Can I buy these areas? That I don't know. That was not covered by the tutorial. The tutorial was here's how you open your park. Off you go, Sparky. All right, let's go sensible. Let's go. I know. I know. It's, it's off brand for me. Let's go sensible and let's put up a toilet. That's on brand for me. Put a toilet there. And then how about we did somewhere for them to spend their money? How about we did some popcorn here and some fries here? All right. Good enough. Spend your money and then, you know, use, use your thing there. And then I th think I'm going to leave it like that. No, I'm going to put up, I'm going to wrap a corridor around this. Why? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to do that. And then let's go back to buildings. Where's my money at? I've spent almost $100,000 at this point. Put up the slushy thing and then put up a balloon store next to it. Because when I get a slushy, I love to have a balloon and the pin store. All right, lots and lots of places for people to spend their money here. And give me the corridor again. We will eventually get the park open, I swear to God. But wow, 1300 per per tile. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be broke so, so soon. We should probably get something for them to do, like, you know, a ride. Now, to do anything with the ride, I think I have to go into the hall. I can't do anything from out there. It's just a big old empty spot. We've got the... The idea of a ride in utero, if you will, but there's nothing here. People are just going to come in and go, yeah, it's, it's just a big circle, dude. I don't I don't quite know what you wanted here. Uh, rides. Let's buy a new ride. We've got the Crown or the Salto. Oh, Chaos. How soon can until we can unlock Chaos? I, I do that every morning when I wake up. Pendulum, Machine, Eagle, Circus. All right, well, we've got Crown or Salto. Let's go Crown. Boom. We've got it. It's done. Now, I can kind of perk this up a little bit too, right? Can I change the colors on this? Yeah, ride colors. How about we made it that? And then what else? Let's do this part, not that part. I like that part as is. That part could be sort of that color. And then that part could be kind of this color. I'm not so good with colors. I just like clicking things until things are different. How about this was, ooh, I don't know if I like that. How about that? No, that's boring. Put that like that. There we go. And that can be like that. And this bit can be like that for no reason whatsoever. What else can I do? Oh, the wall paintings. Right, yeah. So um, long story short, I can change everything in here, really, just broadly everything. How about we did... Let's see, we're in a wasteland. Let's do a wasteland. There we go. Speaking of which, uh, we could do not the hall colors. I want the decorations. There we go. Okay, so I can decorate all of this. I'm looking forward to this bit. Put up that fence or this fence. I like that one. That could... Eh, is that, does that really say wasteland? That says more Wild West. I'm going to go with that one. There we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere around here. Uh, I don't want to control the ride yet, but I will decorate. Whoa, 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 extreme close up there. I will decorate the surroundings because, you know, I can do that too. What do we got? Vikings, city, western, space, nature, apocalypse. There we go. That's my one. All right. Um, what am I going to put in here? How about a big block of cinder blocks? That could live right over here. Right over here for no reason. And a little barrier that could live right here. Show me something bigger, please. Oh, mutants. I like mutants. So what if I had a guy in a biohazard suit 
squaring off against a fast food employee who is now a zombie. Actually, give me a couple of those guys. I like those guys. That one, and then who are you? You are just sort of a random pedestrian who is also a bit of a zombie. Let's get you to live like... Oh, this is good. I don't care about the ride. I just want to make this stuff do what I want it to do. You go there. I should probably... I'm going to give the biohazard guy a friend because it's just him all by himself right now. Oh, I made you go the wrong way. Uh, you're running away. Sorry, I've written a story about you already. You're running away. You, you can be a little more brave. So zombies, zombies, zombies. Put a, a thing up here. Yeah, oh, this is coming together. Good. All right, uh, back this off. I don't care about anything else that's going on in the park right now. I just want to do this bit. And a flamingo could live behind the barrier because that's kind of fun. What else you got for me here? Uh, broken up doghouse. Sure, that could live over here. And some boxes. And whatever this is, I'm not really sure. Uh, you, oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna build your story up a little bit there, Sparky. You're hiding. You're hiding behind whatever that is. Oh, and the biohazard guy should have a big tent that they all came out of. Yeah, that can go over there. All right. Um, right. Probably should focus on the ride bit. I've spent two hundred thousand dollars building a little zombie diorama there. Okay, uh, I'll come back to you guys. I promise. I will come back to you guys. You guys are awesome. I love everything that you're doing, but I can't actually spend every penny that I have. We got one ride set up. Let's get out of here and do anything else at this point. How about the research building? Could do that. So we're uh, go back to buildings. And what is this again? Deco halls. Oh, yeah. Forgot about these. There's just like a thing that people go through. They got an entrance and an exit doesn't really do anything, as I understand it. It's just something nice for them to go through. So what if we did, say, that? Okay, so you got an entrance here, an entrance here. You got four corners you can go off of here. What if we did a path like this? Oh, no, you didn't, uh, you didn't get my good paths there. No, I want that and that, please. Thank you very much. Okay, and then bring that around there. Yep, this is what you're all tuning in for here. Red Hot Decorating Action. Oh yeah, and I can decorate the deco halls too, because that's important as well. Uh, let's, uh, what do we got here? Decorations? Yep, sure. How about we did, can I do the themes first? No, I can't do anything with the basic theme. What could I do in terms of this? How about city? What's in city these days? Doesn't make, how about a fire hydrant? Right here. That's a terrible place for a fire hydrant if you're a firefighter. Like you come down, you're like, oh my god, there's a fire. Good thing I've got my giant fire hose here. I can I need a fire hydrant. My god, it's way up on the top of that hill. What moron put a fire hydrant way up there? Also, they put a, a trash can up there. I, I would like to throw my trash out as a firefighter, but no, no, no. The fire hydrant and the trash can are way up there. Good thing it's all pretty with some trees. And nothing says pastoral forest setting like a car parked right in the middle of the park here. Okay, get out of that, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow every penny I've got on this. I've got to stop decorating, like, soon. I should put up another ride. People are going to want things to do around here. I love my zombies! I love my little zombie attack down there. Uh, as I understand it, I think this came up in the extremely brief tutorial, you want your themes to match. People like that more. So if they go in and it's all apocalypse, they're like, oh, wow, cool, what a neat apocalypse setting this ride is placed in. But if they go in and they're like, yeah, it's 30% apocalypse and 20% western, and there's a little bit of Japan thrown in there, they're like, this, this is a hot mess. Clearly Dave designed this, but nice zombie diorama nonetheless. Research, 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 Dave. Research, research, research. Let's get some research going on here. All right, otherwise, you're not going to get anything new. 37.5K for the research building. But I kind of need it. Can that go there? No, it can't. It can go here, though. All right, so research toilets. I should do the repair and cleaning buildings. Those are probably, like, wicked important. And the small repair building. Okay, where am I at? I've got one ride with a little zombie diorama. I've got a pastoral setting with a car. I've got places for people to eat food. And I've got, I've blown almost half of my money. Actually, I've blown more than half of my money. Well, time to open the park then. Uh, so park settings, and we want the little ticket icon, because now the park is closed. How about we just said 50% of the people can come in? All right, just 50% of the people, and we'll see how I kind of do with that. They're only paying a buck to get in here, but I could bump this. 
what if we got like five bucks? And they should be happy with that. Five bucks, they have very low demand. So like, ah, yeah, the place sucks, but it's only five bucks to get in. There's my people. Hi, guys. Enjoy your zombie diorama. Oh, these guys got in early. They're still paying the $1 fee. Oh, you guys got lucky with that. That's just an introductory fee. That's not forever. Okay, you guys actually pay five. That's an introductory fee. All right, they're moving around. They're kind of hanging out. Some people are going over to the ride. Okay, here we go. People are going over to the ride. They're checking out the zombie diorama. They're like, wow, way cool zombie diorama. I love the little story about the guy hiding behind the tarp on a stick. More importantly, they're spending their money over here. 20, 28, 20, 28. Ah, you were thirsty. There's a slushy thing like right around the corner. You can go get that. This is what I want to see. Everybody's spending their money. Oh, the ride's going on. Oh, hang on, hang on. We got to go check out the ride because we can go do that. So back down into the hall and the little ride employees here, they're kind of strapping everyone in and making sure everything's nice and safe. It's not a lot of people. There's a couple of people in there and there's some people waiting. Guys, I see empty seats here in the ride. You could, you could let these guys in. Also... I am no engineer, and we're going to come back to that in a sec, trust me. I am no engineer, but this looks horribly unbalanced. Like, everybody's on this part of the ride, but nobody's on the other parts of the ride. I'm kind of vaguely hoping this is going to spin off into, say, space. There we go, cool. Uh, let's check it out even more. little camera control up here. I like this bit. And we're in the ride now. And we're in the ride. Oh, we're going around. Oh, I'm already starting to get sick. Uh, where's my... I'm trying to see my zombie diorama as I go past... Nope, definitely going to get sick on this ride. What else can I look at here? How about this one? Oh, that just takes me down there. That's not nearly as, as exciting. Go back to the ride bit. Yeah, I want to be in the ride checking this out. Okay, I got to do something with those walls. It's a little, well, it is a wasteland. It's a little gray in here. Come out of that. There we go. Back to normal here. Sorry for anyone who just got motion sick walk, watching that. Where? There it is. There's my zombie diorama. I like that. I want to beef that up a little bit. And we are generating research, so research is happening. I've got, well, about 27% before I'm going to unlock anything at all, which is fine. At least research is happening. I assume if I got more research buildings, I'd be doing research faster. Are there bigger research buildings? Like, can I unlock some sort of faster research? No. Looks like repair, cleaning, and larger toilets. Well, if I keep putting the slushies up, we're probably going to need the larger toilets. But no, it looks like research is just research, and that's it. Maybe if I put multiples up, we can speed that up. How much are those guys again? Because I'd like to unlock something. These are... Oh, 37 and a half K. Uh, yeah, we won't be doing that immediately. People are 69% happy. That's not bad. They've got a green smiley face. And what does that all boil down to here? They like... Looks like they like the ride... And they like the shopping. Okay, so they like the balloon store. They're pretty cool with the food. It's somewhat kid-friendly, I guess. There's no prizes. And there's no entertainment. They're sad about that. There's no prizes and no entertainment. And they might be a little happier if we got some more drinks in here. Seems like a lot of people might be thirsty. Okay. More concessions? Or another ride? Kind of feeling another ride, but I want to... Jeez, I've only got that one little diorama over there. I really want to flesh this out a little bit more. Um, just for giggles, how much are how much are decorations going for these days? Oh, they are, as the Brits say, cheap as chips. Cheap as chips. Ten? I make twice that on a slushie. Let's do some piles of dirt and debris over by the tent here. Where's my biohazard guy? I'm going to put you over here, and you're, like, in charge of stuff, okay? You're, like, in charge of the tent uh, for the, for the, you're sort of the, um, you're the commander of the, I'm going to loosely use the term forces. What does this look like when it's at home? Little tent? Okay, maybe, uh, I think that could go over there. I don't really know what it is. Ooh, there's a guy in a hot dog outfit who's a zombie who's sneaking up on this guy over here. I like my little stories. More tents. Everybody needs more tents. So spin this around so it's sort of like this. And what else have you got in here? Oh, you've got green goo. Oh, let's have some green goo over here. And those could have come out of these toxic barrels, which are over here. Oh, now it's all coming together. 
oh yeah, you thought this is going to be a game about building a theme park. No, this is a game about decorating, and I'm all into that. Broken bicycle, and is this like a big billboard? No, it's a small billboard. That's unfortunate. I wouldn't mind seeing a big billboard, like a really giant one. What's way down at the bottom? Show me things that are gig... Wow. There's so much stuff. Show me things that are enormous. Like, what have you got? What is this? It's like, oh, yeah, it's a Mad Max car. That doesn't make any sense with the zombie thing. I'm going to start you over here. You might have a completely different story that I haven't thought of yet. You know what you go great with? Broken down bus. What is this? What is that? Is that like flags or something? Can we zoom in on that? Yeah, it's like little pennants or flags. I'm not, not really sure what I would do with that. I can move them up. Could we... No, don't. You know what? I don't even want pennants. Pennants are fine. Um, let's... Oh, there we go. That's kind of what I was going for. Give me gigantic, please. Let's spin that guy. Can I get that to live, like, right here? Uh, and it's falling over. Even better. Uh, I think I borked my ride. I don't know if the little corner peeking out... This is bright red. This can't be good. If I go out of this... Do you still work? Were you just bright red because I was in a different mode? I hope so. Wow, there's a whole lot of people waiting for this ride. Whole lot of people. If we sped this up a little bit, I just want to make sure the ride worked. New notification, what's going on? They hate to wait and they're super thirsty. I can broadly cope with that. Okay, ride still works, ride still works. Uh, let me just go down to the ride again. Wee! All right, we got to get some other kind of ride going on because these people are going to flip out that they're waiting so long. And then I'll, I'll have a think about more concessions. So another ride, sort of another bear ride. Wow. I better be getting some kind of extra. Do I don't actually have anywhere to put this? Um, I, gotta, I need some extra build space around here. I got to get something along those lines going on. Now, I want to put you here. I'll look at my new notification in a sec. It's important I get my paths done. Give me this and this. Actually, hang on. There's an eyedropper tool. Use it. You never use that. Give me an eyedropper tool and then eyedropper this. You always see those in games, Dave, and you never ever use them. And you're trying to like, wait, what, is, what was the exact path that I did? It's literally right there. You can just eyedropper it and duplicate it. Now, we got to get another ride going on here. Then I think I'm going to extend this corridor out and do more concessions over there. They're probably going to want at least one more bathroom. Well, I've only got the other ride, so I may... Wow, I'm going to blow all my money on this. Uh, why are you flashing at me? Events. Oh, there's an event. Right, I did turn those on. Hang on, hang on. Bring your park to an attractiveness score of 150. I'm 98% there. And have 50 visitors in the park at the same time. All right, I'm not, my, my guests are not well hydrated. All right, I can, greasing is, greasy is trending. Okay, I should probably put up like more fries and stuff. That's greasy. I've eaten french fries. They're quite greasy if you get them from the wrong place. Uh, long story short, let's blow all of my money and get Salto. And then, and then what? Now I got to decorate it. All right, hold off, Dave, hold off. You're, you're getting too far ahead of yourself here. Leave the hall. You've got a ride going on, okay? A ride exists. You can come back and decorate it later. Let's go with, what were my issues here? Okay, the, the attractiveness is there. I just need a few more people in here. All right. I could just bump up the number of people who are coming in the park. I've already limited that to 50%. What if it's 75%? How about just 60% or whatever that happens to be there? And are people coming into the new ride? Yes, the new ride is active. I'm so sorry there aren't any dioramas here, people. It It's just, I mean, they are cheap. You're right. It's 10 bucks for a decoration, but I can't... Wow, it looks good. I can't put all of them up at once. You need to be spending quite a bit more money. I had half a million. Now I'm down to 100k, and I'm going to put some more fries up because apparently that's trending. All right, so what about... I don't... There's not much I'm going to be able to do over in this corner. So I may as well put stuff over here, and then popcorn is not particularly greasy. Fries definitely are. Uh, let's put another bathroom up here. Actually, now that I think about this, hang on. Uh, can I get rid of this? I would like to sell that hall, thank you. Because what I'd like to do instead is take this corridor one tile down, I think. 
because then people can wrap around there and then put all the buildings and stuff that I just said over here. Leaves me a bit of dead space up top, but actually I could wrap another corridor around and do this again. These things are only one tile wide. Uh, back to the concept of bathrooms, but first let's put more places for people to spend their money. You want a pin? I got a pin for you. And remind me, entertainment. Okay, people people were kind of getting a little fussy about that. Is This is all of my money. Hang on, hang on. This is like all of my money. I've got 66k left. This is 30. I got to chill. I got a wicked chill on this. Thankfully, toilets are blissfully cheap. There you go, seven fifty for a toilet. That's that's all I'm comfortable with right now. Seventy eight percent happy in the park. We've got one ride that is quite nicely decorated, although there's more work to be done there to be sure. One ride that is completely bare, and no surprise, nobody's like, oh, I don't want to go to this ride. It's like three people on this ride. Like, where are my zombie dioramas? I signed up to this theme park for zombie dioramas. I came into Dave's awesome indoor lands amusement park specifically for zo zombie dioramas, and there's not a single zombie diorama over here. Uh, why do you have an arrow above you? What's your problem? Select a new upgrade? Oh, cool. Hang on. Pause this game. I didn't know I could upgrade stuff. All right, I can register a, ro well, register a robot. Decreases the handling time so people get their balloons quicker. Five more people in it if I do interior redesign. Or shop displays plus 10 quality influence. Oh, I don't know any of this stuff. None of this was covered in the tutorial. In fact, nothing was covered in the tutorial except how to open your park. Um, quality influence sounds like something I want. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Plus 10 quality influence. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are into that. Is there somewhere where I can see when you're going to get an upgrade? I don't know. Have we researched something? Is that what just happened? No, but we're about to. All right, I have done nothing with the research. So this is all brand new territory for me. 99% we've got, we'll have 10 research points. But if I go over to the unlockables, a lot of these are only five. I could get this right now. We can get milkshakes like immediately. Ooh, or we could get a new ride. That would be good. But I can't afford a new ride. I should get somewhere where people are going to spend their money. And the big thing that everyone's fussy about right now is thirst. So milkshakes, does this deal with thirst? It deals with drinks, cold, and sweet. It'll cover all of those bases. What's in fun for everyone? Duck fishing. Wait, fishing for ducks? Because ducks are... Ducks are not fish. Or is it ducks that are fishing? For, you know, for fish. I'm going to need a little clarification on that one. Rope course. Uh, chair, plane. Right on. Uh, what's next step? We've got... Uh, that looks like another deco hall. All right. And then falafel. Oh, I love falafel. How about we keep it simple? I know. It's me. How about we keep it simple and just get something that we know they want, which is milkshakes. Okay. How do I unlock that? Is that unlocked now? Have I got all of these things? I think I got all of these things. It wasn't just... I thought I was going to select milkshakes and then go to waffle and then go to smallware. I think I just unlocked all of those. Like, what's over here? Salad, sandwiches, and burgers. Yeah, I've unlocked all of these. Oh, cool. So I would assume... Yeah, there we go. Milkshakes right there. And waffles, for that matter. That's a nice combo. There's the breakfast of champions. Waffle and a milkshake. Oh, it's a big thing. Okay, it's a big thing. Uh, I should have probably looked at how much those cost. 15k. I am slowly gaining money. Slowly. I mean, I just built a relatively massive park and spent most of my money on zombie decorations. But we could put milkshakes up. I don't have anything else to do with that space. I may as well. So that brings my money down, obviously. But hopefully people are going to be happier. There's something new to drink around here. Go into this building. Okay, I can't adjust any of this yet. Maybe that's something I unlock. Maybe I can fiddle with this later if I unlock this. Okay, uh, go out of that. I'm, I'm done with you for right now. Yeah, they're still saying they're super thirsty, but they probably haven't figured out the milkshakes are up here yet. That, that'll come in time. All right, let's reevaluate here. Apocalypse Wasteland coming along very nicely. This 
admittedly needs work. All right, where am I at right now? What are my big problems here? They hate to wait and they're super thirsty still. We've put milkshakes up, you fussy, fussy people. Although I should probably wrap that corridor around there so people can get back and forth. Oh, do you have an upgrade? I like upgrades. This is upgrade for fries. Plus 10 patience for each visitor. Wait, we've got waiters in a fry place? That doesn't sound right. Interior redesign for the capacity again. Or reducing my upkeep cost to zero. Oh, hello. What is my upkeep cost now? It's 200 per day. Well, there's 200 I've just saved every single day. That's got to be a smart thing. How are we doing on our things here? Oh, we've done all of these. Yay, we did all our milestones. Cool. Uh, what, what do I get for that? I want a thing. Give me a prize. Oh, I was checking off my boxes on my little achievements there and P.S. getting some money and these guys all popped up. Uh, choose my next contract. Build a hall with the theme Japan. All right, could do. All toilets break down. I think we've only got the two. Or build two can throwing buildings. Right, and for that I'll get research points. Ooh, a lot of them too. A lot of them. What is, what is this? Uh, triggers another event. Upgrade all level zero buildings to level one. Ooh, that's good. You'll give me money and research. I like you. You're fun. I want to pick that one because I've already got something I need to decorate. You want Japan. I can give you Japan. Slam it into pause mode there, please, indoor lands. Let's all take stock of things. Okay, I got a bunch of money for checking off my little achievements there. And I've got some new achievements I could start working towards. New milestones there, and that'll obviously be more money. We've got two rides going. One of them looks outstanding. One of them will be Japan very, very shortly. But I think that is an excellent place to call it on indoor lands for today. I think we're going to come right back into this. I'm digging this. I like a good theme park, amusement park builder. And this has got a lot of elements that I haven't even really touched on yet. So I want to poke around in this a little bit more and make sure my zombie dioramas look excellent. Guys, do please let me know what you're thinking of indoor lands. Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not, not quickly, anyway. Not until I saw some more reviews on the place, and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.